than one mile from where the world famous Wimbledon Championships were taking place. Usually a source of joy in this community. But that joy has been replaced by sorrow when that Land Rover ploughed onto the grounds of a popular school. There has been an arrest and there is a police investigation that will bring clarity as to what happened and how. But in this community, there will be little comfort here tonight. Just before 10 in the morning, a Land Rover drove off the road through the school's fence and into this playground. The day had started with celebration. Students were outside for a tea party before the playground became a crime scene. Our officers, along with colleagues from other emergency services, provided first aid to a number of people who had been injured. Very sadly, one of the children, an eight-year-old girl, died at the scene. Our thoughts are with her family at this incredibly difficult time. A woman in her 40s has been arrested on suspicion of causing death by dangerous driving. At least a dozen casualties are now in hospital and there will be many more emotional scars. Outside eyewitnesses said parents arrived unsure what they would find. I saw a lot of distraught parents um, um, rushing from the scene uh, on my arrival. Um, since then I've seen a lot of parents come in and, and picking up their children. Um, uh, expressions of relief or absolute despair on their face depending on the situation. This is a private school for girls aged 4 to 11 in an affluent suburb along a narrow and winding road. We have been told that in this enclave drivers are usually only headed to the neighbouring golf club, to one of the few homes nearby or to the school that is popular with parents. My daughter, many years ago, was educated here. We had an incredibly happy time as a family. This is a well-liked, well-respected school. Many local Wimbledon families choose to send their girls here. Uh, and so it's got a very close community as a school, but also a big impact in the local community as well. This is now a criminal matter, as the police investigate just how the end of term became the start of mourning. So this has been a devastating time for this community and the school in particular. Whilst we've been here, they released a statement. They said, it is still far too soon to fully understand what happened, but we are well aware of the significant impact this dreadful event will have on our pupils and their families. Their welfare remains our top priority, and we will be doing everything we can to support them, especially those who suffered injuries. Clearly, there is a lot of emotion and it's still very raw here and wider afield who've been hit and hit. Please join the conversation. Put your comments and suggestions below in the comment section. Thank you for subscribing to this news channel. You will be notified of any breaking news and new post as you become part and parcel of the TAO Media family. Please like and share TAO Media. We love you all. Please support TAO Media Foundation by joining membership and visiting Amazon UK to purchase the displayed books to aid our orphanage projects across Africa.